My brilliant and beautiful wife, Michelle, is here tonight. She looks so happy to be here. That's called practice. It's like learning to do three-minute planks. She makes it look easy now, but next year at this time, someone else will be standing here in this very spot, and it's anyone's guess who she will be. Even some foreign leaders, they've been looking ahead, anticipating my departure. Last week, Prince George showed up to our meeting in his bathrobe. <laughs> that was a slap in the face. A clear breach of protocol. As you know, Spotlight is a film, a movie, about investigative journalists with the resources and the autonomy to chase down the truth and hold the powerful accountable. Best fantasy film since Star Wars. GOP chairman Reince Priebus is here as well. Glad to see that you feel that you've earned a night off. Congratulations on all your success. The Republican Party, the nomination process, it's all going great. Keep it up. Sitting at the same table, I see Mike Bloomberg. Mike, a combative, controversial New York billionaire, is leading the GOP primary, and it is not you. That has to sting a little bit. Although it's, it's not an entirely fair comparison between you and the Donald. After all, Mike was a big city mayor. He knows policy in depth. And he's actually worth the amount of money that he says he is. <laughs> Look, I've said how much I admire Hillary's toughness, her smarts, her, her policy chops, her experience. You've got to admit it, though. Hillary trying to appeal to young voters is a little bit like your relative who just signed up for Facebook. Yeah. Dear America, did you get my poke? Is it appearing on your wall? I'm not sure I'm using this right. Love, Aunt Hillary. You know I've got to talk about Trump. Although I am a little hurt that he's not here tonight. We had so much fun the last time. And it is surprising. You've got a room full of reporters, celebrities, cameras, and he says no. Is this dinner too tacky for the Donald? What could he possibly be doing instead? Is he at home eating a Trump steak? <laughs> Tweeting out insults to Angela Merkel? What's he doing? The Republican establishment is incredulous that he's their most likely nominee. Incredulous, shocking. They say Donald lacks the foreign policy experience to be president. But in fairness, he has spent years meeting with leaders from around the world. Miss Sweden, <laughs> Miss Argentina, <laughs> Miss Azerbaijan. I don't want to spend too much time on the Donald. Following your lead, I want to show some restraint. Because I think we can all agree that from the start, he's gotten the appropriate amount of coverage befitting the seriousness of his candidacy. So I want to close my final White House Correspondents' Dinner by just saying thank you. Um, I'm very proud of what you've done. It has been an honor and a privilege to work side by side with you to strengthen our democracy. And with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. <laughs>